Hello, Felix. Once upon a time, there was a boy whose feet were pies. No one knows exactly how it happened. He wasn't born that way. Um, but by the time he was ready to go to school, his feet had grown into pies. This created a lot of different sorts of problems. One was that he couldn't find shoes anywhere. There were no shoes that were pie-sized or pie-shaped. Um, and it made it hard for him to put pants on because it was hard to get them on over the pies. And his mother had to fix his, his pants up in a particular way. And his father helped come up with a, a way to get them on over his feet. But every time they bought pants at the store, they had to cut them up and fix them so that they could be put on over pies. Um, he got... <laughs> A lot of teasing at school. The other kids called him pie foot and pies for feet and foot pie. That really didn't lend itself to very clever nicknames. Um, but lots of people were also his friend because they found the pie feet interesting. Um, but as he got older, he started to run into another problem with his pie feet. Lots of people wanted to know what kind of pies they were. I mean, they obviously weren't lemon meringue because they had a crust on the top and it wasn't like the lattice work crust that you get with a cherry pie. So so it had to be something a little more, probably more traditional, like you know, apple or blueberry or something like that. But nobody knew. And nobody had ever cut a slice of the pie because they were his feet. That was kind of gross. But as he got older, people started to wonder more and more, what kind of pie are they and how do they taste? Um magazines and TV stations and podcasts and, and vloggers offered him hundreds of thousands of dollars if they could have the rights to cut open his feet and see what kind of pie they were there. Um, but he said no. Um, but as time went on, people became more curious and less polite. Um, and they started to just chase him. He would be walking down the street and someone would come after him with a knife. And it wasn't like he could disguise them and go out incognito. Everybody knew what the pie feet looked like. And, and he'd become famous for his pie feet. So everybody knew his face. So he couldn't go anywhere. And people would start to chase him. And they would grab a knife. They'd grab a fork. And they would chase him in his pie feet. And he, every time he went out, he had to be prepared to run away. Which was extra challenging because, of course, there were no shoes that fit so he didn't have a good pair of running shoes because he didn't have a good pair of shoes at all um but that meant that he had to run a lot under difficult conditions and this ended up being training for him so by the time he was in his 20s he was one of the world's fastest runners um actually went to the olympics won a gold medal um and became famous as the world's fastest pie-footed runner um and was able to retire and just do endorsements for athletic equipment, and he lived happily ever after. And no one ever found out what was in the pies. So that's the story of the pie-footed boy. I'll talk to you next week. Love you.